Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I joined an Elver server and we're going to do some PvP and some really good base raids. If you guys want the continuation of Elver, make sure to drop a like, let's try to reach 200 likes. You guys are reaching each like goal and I really appreciate it. Also hit that subscribe button, 69% of you guys watching this are not yet subscribed. So I would really appreciate it if you hit that button and let's get straight into the video. Alright, and we are back on Elver. I already got myself a shotgun and a cultist hood, that's pretty much it. I didn't really get that much of a lucky spawn. I don't have any XP yet. We can make ourselves a bandage. We'll salvage this. Now, what I want to do today, there is like a specific checklist for Elver, which we always do whenever we play Elver. First of all, we'll try to build the base. We'll obviously try to get into PvP. Obviously, try to do some base raids as well. Maybe go to the dead zone and to the safe zone. We're probably gonna have to do a horde beacon eventually. So that is my current checklist. Now, it's gonna take me probably a long time. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the military. From there, we'll try to get ourselves some military loot, maybe a gun. I'm actually going to loot town really quickly. I'll go kill the cows for sure because those actually give me a lot of XP. Get ourselves some food. There's some ammo as well. Salvage extra clothes. Maybe we'll even get ourselves a better gun than this because this shotgun is not really that good, unfortunately. Pretty much looted town. Got myself a leather vest. Got myself a ton of more ammo for this double down. We did get ourselves some XP as well. So now we're going to head over to military. Hopefully, there's nobody there for now. Getting XP on Elver is so hard. These zombies literally give you one xp each you would literally need to kill 10 zombies just to get exercise one i think actually somebody looted this because most of the loot spawns are looted even though there are zombies there's also a mega zombie so i don't know if i have enough to kill him with this shotgun maybe these zombies could drop like a pal or a puck oh, we got a sling backpack let's go i could give this a try to try to kill him i don't really have anything worth to lose if i do manage to kill him then that's great because we could get ourselves some really good items we could get mesh and mesh right now is very very important killed every single zombie looted pretty much everywhere we're gonna get this green card already since we're here but we're gonna try to kill the mago with the shotgun Oh yeah, this I kind of remember how bad this shotgun is. He's gonna be chasing me, I'm gonna run out of XP. How many times do I have to hit him with- Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Yeah, all my loot is still here. Oh, well, the mega zombie did go back, I think. Oh, well, some zombies did respawn. The mega zombie should be very weak from all those shots that I gave him. And yeah, these zombies are not dropping anything, actually. Oh, a puck. Let's go. Alright, there we go, he's dead. And looks like an Elise pack, a vest, some high kill, and an Amari. Oh, well, not that good loot. So probably the next thing that I'm gonna try to do is perhaps build a base. It might take me a very long time to chop down a single tree. First, I will run around the map, very close to junction, and maybe I'll try to find a raided base, take it over, as how I usually do. Easiest way to actually have a base. Oh, finally, I've been chopping down this tree for literally two minutes for three logs. Let's go. We got ourselves a pine floor. Well, there is actually a base over here. It's not claimed, so we could build next to it. Yeah, I don't think this base is actually raided. Yeah, it's not raided. All right, we found already a lawn raided base. There's this base over here. We could maybe take this over, actually. A bunch of crates already. Yeah, all we have to do is just a wall. We're gonna have to chop down another tree to make myself a doorway. Oh, we got a doorway. We got ourselves a door as well. Let's go. Well, that's an easy way to make a base. Right, let's put everything in here that we don't want to lose. All right, after this, we'll actually actually head back to junction we'll probably run around the whole map go to the mall maybe from there we can get ourselves some graphics cards some new phones and start making components so the first thing we're gonna try to do is make a gauze mask and then from the gauze mask we'll go to that zone at the same time we'll get ourselves the key cards and then from there we can get ourselves some high tier weapons maybe even some raiding gear and then we can start raiding we already know an unrated base well, an airdrop is actually passing by. I don't know where it is. Right, let me actually turn off these clouds. Alright, it's right over there. I finally made it to the airdrop. Looks like mesh. Perfect. Some high kill. Three sauces. A bunch of attachments. I actually don't have that much space. So we're gonna have to take one sauce and then probably just strip the others. And since we're all the way up here, I'm actually gonna get this key card. Purple key card. There we go. And we are safely back in base. We got mesh. We got ourselves a bunch of high kill. Picked up a couple of key cards as well. It's also a full moon. So we can actually go and farm ourselves a bunch of XP if we really want want to i still actually haven't gone to the mall we got ourselves a bed as well we're gonna make it red because i had red dye place it right over there we got ourselves a bed let's go i'm really happy with the start already next it's time to farm oh there's a mega zombie spawn all right he is dead let's go and he had a bunch of high kill two grenades not that bad back in base got ourselves a ton of metal some extra guns there's a guy there and he knows about me hit him oh, he hit me a couple of times Oh, he's dead. Let's go. We're gonna push what loot he had. Or after that, we're probably gonna go depot it. Oh, wait, there's another guy. Oh, I hit him a couple of times. 
and he's dead. I think I killed the duo then. Yeah, there is a palace. A defibrillator battery medkit as well. Right, I'll take that. That's a really important item. MRE, some ammo as well. Back in base, time to depot. I'm actually gonna run around with the Pog. It's a much better PvP gun than the sauce for sure. For ourselves a palace as well, which is a pretty good shotgun. We also dig ourselves a defibrillator and a gyroscope, so that's really, really good. It sounds like there's some PvP. All right, he's dead. Oh, a drill mesh. Yeah, I'm definitely running back to base. We also got ourselves a, a key for the dorms. This start is actually really good. We got ourselves already two mesh. We got ourselves a drill. I was hoping that we're gonna get a drill from actually the dead zone, but we already got one. I think there's somebody in the mall. There's a bunch of stuff on the floor. There's blood here. All right, he's dead. He had a, a fully decked out pog. He had the gyroscope as well, 4x scope. We gotta kill these zombies actually. Another guy dead. He had, uh, I didn't have anything that good. Alright, he's dead. Alright, full moon is finally over as well. A palace, some ammo, nothing that good. He had some metal though, we could take that. We did get a ton of XP from this full moon though, so I can't really complain. It's only I have a room to key card and... Alright, well this room is actually a bit disappointing. There's only rubber in here. Alright, he's dead. This guy actually almost killed me. Well, he had a graphics card. Other than that, nothing that important though. He has a high cal box. Right, we're actually full of loot, so we should probably run back to base depot. And we also got this key card as well. Mega zombie spawned. And he's dead. Three mesh? Oh my god. That has to be probably the best mega zombie spawn that ever happened on Elver. Usually I don't even get one. Now he got three. Oh wait, shots. Wait, I don't know where from, from where that is. I think that came from the dead zone actually. Wait, what? Oh my god, he's dead. Yo, thick backpack. He has a respirator, rebel, high cal. Yeah, I knew those shots were coming from the dead zone. All right, let's take all of this loot and run back. Defibrillator battery. I heard him open the uh, green door. We got a heavy barrel, Mosca. Poor guy just looted the dead zone and now I have all of his loot. We could actually go to the dead zone pretty soon. Now, we're not gonna go there instantly because since this guy just looted it, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any that much loot. And I don't still have all of the key cards, so I will go and find them first. And I'm probably going to make myself a filter before as well because this gas mask isn't 100%, so I'll make myself a filter before we actually go in. I'm gonna get myself the drill. I'm gonna drop all of these so if I die, I don't lose them. All right, we got ourselves some crates. Let's go. We still really need a blowtorch actually. In order for us to progress, we just need the blowtorch. Wait, what is that noise? I think that's a car, right? Hello. <laughs> He's dead. I hit that a blaster, some food, chemical, med kit. I was just chilling inside an ambulance. Oh, wait, there's a guy. Right, and he had a tusk, a pog, some ammo, nothing that good though. He had a sling backpack. And we got ourselves the white key card as well. Next we're gonna go to the helicopter crash. And there we go. We should have all of the key cards now. Wait, what? Right, he's dead. Had a defibrillator battery, some ammo, a chemical. Let me mad up. He had a valentine as well. Right, we're full of loot, so we should probably actually run back to base now. All right, one more guy dead. All right, yeah, parachute, high cal, and a toss. I'll take that parachute, though. I don't have one. There's a mega zombie. Let's kill him. Maybe we get ourselves three more mesh. All right, he's dead. He had at least back high cal, a helmet, and two canteens. Yeah, this was the worst mega we've actually ever killed, I think. Back in base. Unfortunately, no blowtorch yet. All right, so next step is going to the dead zone. I got myself a filter. We got ourselves a respirator. It should be enough to actually run through the dead zone and then come back. I'm gonna get myself the respirator. I'm not gonna kill the zombies because that's just a huge waste of time. They require a lot of ammo and they don't even drop anything that good except for like at least backs pogs and we don't really need those i'm gonna take myself a thick backpack with me as well so that we can actually carry a lot of items this is the first room we're gonna go to over here we're gonna get ourselves a bunch of ammo steel wheelie as well pendiculator ammo we got a big magazine two big magazines and next over here we're gonna get ourselves a bunch of attachment try to get as much as possible now from over here we can get ourselves some good craftables we can get ourselves components u phones that's pretty good the graphics card a metal can and the defibrillator battery perfect over here we can get ourselves a drill perhaps we can also get gun powder all right so we're in our last filter all right we're gonna check out the red room over here we can get ourselves a bunch of good items including clothes and i didn't get the key somehow right, well apparently i forgot the blue key card we'll go to the blue over here we can get ourselves some good guns including a heat wave which is currently what i'm really really needing because then we can raid a pendiculator right, over here there's a rebel and the mosca yeah we didn't really actually get that much good loot from this dead zone run we did get a bunch of useful items actually but i was hoping that we could get ourselves some better Load. All right, now we'll go back to base. 
Uh, gyroscope. Alright, we are back. I guess the main thing that we got was the heat wave box. We get to get ourselves a bunch of craftables. Alright, so next we're probably gonna try to make a heart beacon. We still need a military radio for that, actually. Don't have one. Even for a scripture, we need a radio. Try to farm ourselves a radio, and then we'll probably do a heart beacon. Before we actually continue getting more loot, I'm gonna build my own base. I'm gonna make a tree by tree, and then basically on this side, I'm just going to make it all triangular. I don't know why. I, it's kind of a new base design that I came up with literally like five minutes ago. I think it's gonna look pretty cool though. And then when it's day, we'll continue farm around. Okay, base is done. Got ourselves all of the loot that's important. We'll put it in here for now. I did make an airlock as well so that if people are gonna be door camping me, they won't get in. Apparently, we also got a raider stock from that. I didn't even realize. And now our crosshair is a literal dot. Best stock in the whole game. So it's gonna get day. So I'm gonna guess that all of the loot probably respawned in the dead zone. So we're gonna give it another try. Most importantly, we need a radio. If we get a radio, then I'm gonna be happy with it because then we can do a hard beacon. And we are done from the dead zone. Wasn't actually that bad. There's a mega actually. Let's kill him first. Uh, and he is the oh, radio perfect so from the dead zone we actually did get a blowtorch so that's the best thing that we've got we just got the radio as well that's literally what we needed to make ourselves a horde we did get a hundred high cow shots we get ourselves a bunch of components as well a bunch of gyroscopes all of that all of those cans that I've had, I'm making them into safes. So now we can actually have a base where they wouldn't just get in and get everything. We have placed every single safe. We got a ton. I'm gonna put the respirator in here. All of these items that we have got from the dead zone. But I do have everything. What I need is crafting three. So I'm just gonna farm as much trees as possible. As soon as we get crafting tree, horde beacon time. Got ourselves crafting tree. And we got ourselves a horde beacon. I'm gonna go get myself as much ammo as possible. As much meds as possible. Oh, sentry engine actually just spawned. There's an airdrop as well. But I'm not gonna go for it, obviously. Kind of good because it will keep people away. Now it's time to focus on acid spitters and on the flamers and then the rest they shouldn't really be much of a problem. And I think that's all of them. Looks like there are some magentas for sure. Oh, heat wave, perfect. And we got ourselves one gunpowder. Get ourselves some thick cloth, some rebels, a bunch of circuit boards, a bunch of high calamo. I'm happy with this horde. This is a really good horde, actually. Next, it's going to be time for raiding. Nicole did join. She's gonna help me actually raid. We got ourselves a heat wave, a bunch of raiding weapons. Now I do know two bases when I was running around. Get key cards. One of them is very close to mine, and then the other one is very close to gas station. Looks like it's another full moon as well. If I want to, I could actually farm. From that horde, we did get a bunch of XP. Alright, so this is the first trade we're going to do. Myself, all of the high cal on our base. Uh, and we are through. It's like some lockers, there's a generator as well. So I'm gonna salvage this leather. Thankfully, the base wasn't claimed, actually. Because if it was, we would have built with twig leathers. This doesn't really make that much of a difference. We won't actually get stuck if we would need to get out. Let's place it right over there. And we'll continue raid these lockers. Alright, first locker broke. Looks like two gyroscopes, a bunch of shotguns. Second locker broke, two drills. A third locker, a heavy barrel, a bunch of PvP guns, some ammo. And this one broke, some high cal, some rubber. Looks like another drill, you phone. This one broke, a high cal block. And this broke, a scripture and another respirator. Oh, that's really good. And this one was empty. Okay, no problem. It's time to go down then. And we are finally true. Looks like a bunch of more lockers. There's even some of the big ones. There's four of them. Right, we'll focus on those first for sure. Alright, well, thick clothes. And there is another respirator. There's a high cal box. Some circuit boards. There is a cod. There's a pauk. And there is a hellcat as well. Alright, it broke. Mesh, rebel, sentry part. A bunch of more PvP guns. This broke. Looks like a heatwave box. That's pretty good. Another drill. Military radio. Some gyroscopes. There's another blowtorch, Mosca. We're both full of loot, so time to depot. We did get ourselves a bunch of good items from this raid already. Nicole's gonna drop everything that she picked up so that I can pick what's actually useful or not. Right, and a ruby tablet, military radio, some high kill, and Amari. Right, this one broke. Looks like a bunch of high kill, a bunch of PvP guns. Oh, this locker was actually pretty bad. There's a thick backpack though, but other than that, it's very bad. Alright, broke. Looks like another heat wave. It's empty though. Alright, and this one broke. Looks like a rebel. There's a balloon. Nothing that good loot from this one. Oh, but we are done from the raid. We did get ourselves an insane amount of loot. So from all of those circuit boards, I can actually make myself these large metal lockers. We got ourselves four. We're gonna place the very best loot that we have gotten. All of the high cal, all of the thick clothes. I'm actually going to drop everything from these lockers that I would consider as very, very important. And then we'll put them inside the larger ones.
Alright everybody, that's going to be it for episode 1. Now there's going to be another episode coming out very soon. If you guys want this to come out as soon as possible, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!